Pisces, welcome to your December 2020 tarot and astrology reading. Whew. December is here and it's bringing in a, um, an amazing eclipse in your 10th house of career and your goals. And oh, but I think you need this. Since June, you have needed this. You've needed to know that redirecting was correct for you. You've needed to know that you have a purpose. You've needed to know that what you want to achieve in this life is possible. You've wanted to know that you were on the right track. And then you're blessed with this solar eclipse, this total solar eclipse in Sagittarius, which is saying, yes, Pisces, look what you can do. Look what's available to you. If you're trying to manifest a new job, bang. If you're trying to manifest clarity of what your purpose is, bang. If you're trying to make more money than you currently do, boom. This eclipse is lining up with Mars. Six of Swords, the Tower and the Emperor. And just like that, after coasting for so long, after leaving a certain harbour and feeling very frightened about it after making shifts, boom, you are powerful. You are ready. You are, you're there. After the lunar eclipse in June, I believe it was June 5th, it's set about for you a period of leaving certain work situations behind, maybe an entire profession, maybe you lost a job, maybe you um, had to take a pay cut, whatever this is. None of it has felt easy, I don't think. Maybe it's felt true to your soul in some levels, but I don't think it's been easy. And now you're moving into a period where you're ready to put in as much work as you can because you believe in this now. The eclipse is like lightning. It strikes you and you understand its power. And you are reborn with a superpower in your career. You know, this lightning isn't taking you out. It's making you stronger. It's making you an emperor where you can safely lead yourself. Put in the work, put in the progress, see the money roll in, see the opportunities roll in, and finally feel clarity and trust in your abilities. Because Pisces, you are a multi-talented person, regardless of what you think. You have many gifts, oftentimes they're spiritual. And so sometimes Pisces feels... Sometimes Pisces feels that their gifts are not easy to navigate in this world because they're oftentimes very spiritual. But you can use those in any profession. You can use your clairsentience as a lawyer. You can use your clairvoyance as a doctor. You know, all within being ethical, of course, but your intuition is so strong and your voice of compassion is so strong that just being there is healing sometimes. You know, you don't have to be in a healing profession. I would assume many Pisceans and Piscean Risings are in healing professions, whether it's doctor, whether it is a tarot reader, an astrologer, a Reiki master, Reiki healer, these types of things. And that could be where your purpose is for sure. But I'm just saying for the rest of you that aren't, that's okay. You can be in anything and still be wonderful at it just because you're sensitive, just because you're empathic and it can be exhausting. You'll learn since the Saturn-Jupiter conjunction in the 21st, you'll learn how valuable your alone time is, how much you're okay with being on your own at times, how much self-care really means to you, but that's not a sense that you're gonna isolate yourself from the world, no, no, no. Actually, actually, the devil, the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Beautiful. 
let's have a little closer look at these cards. Actually, Saturn shifting gear into Jupiter from Capricorn has granted you a wish that maybe some of you aren't seeing until December, and that's okay. But there's no doubt that with the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups that things are starting to turn for you, even if they felt incredibly hard, incredibly slow, incredibly... Oh, but they tasted, test, tested, <laughs> tested, they tasted, they tested your patience. Oh, they really did. For a lot of you, there was a very hard lesson you had to learn in the last year, two years with a devil-like personality. It was maybe the end of a chapter where you allowed people with vicious energy or draining energy, vampire-like energy to take from you your passion and your purpose because you wanted a love. And oftentimes when a Pisces really wants love and they find themselves in a relationship that's unhealthy, they sacrifice everything. It's very hard for a Pisces to continue down a strong career path in an unhealthy relationship. And that was one of your great lessons while Saturn, I believe, was in Capricorn. Because Saturn in Capricorn is a lot to do with your wishes in general. It's a lot to do with the things that you want the most for yourself. And for a lot of you, you wanted it all. With the Nine of Cups and the Six of Cups, I feel very strongly, Pisces, that there's a wish here for you in terms of a soulmate, in terms of a soulmate connection, in terms of a love relationship, in terms of a family relationship, in terms of just feeling aligned. With Venus being in Sagittarius and the Eclipse being in Sagittarius, Mercury being in Sagittarius, all of it is there to push you to succeed in career and to take the opportunities. To succeed in terms of your ambitions and your long-term goals, whatever they may be. You know, the 10th house is also how you're identified to the world in terms of maybe marriage. Maybe you want part of your identity to be wife, to be husband, to be partner, to be anything that you want. There is no judgment. You're allowed to want what you want. And you don't have to answer to anybody else for that. Lord knows I think you've answered to other people for a uh, a bit too long here especially people like this people that want to control you because just because you can't see your gifts doesn't mean that people outside of you don't see them too in fact I think that's actually why Pisces is sometimes one of the most manipulated signs because people fear your power you have that connection that many would wish for they don't see how scary it can be sometimes to be a Pisces and be so tuned in. And yet when you're tuned in and content, you really can make anything happen. And it's true. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups, luck is turning in your favour. The shocks of 2020 to your career, to your social status, to your business, to your... to your karmic path in love even. It's been a slow steady progress in 2020, but here we are. Jupiter leaves Capricorn and while, <laughs> while Jupiter is leaving and Saturn is leaving because Saturn has restricted a little bit your wish fulfillment, you know. Saturn has made you very serious about learning in place of manifesting in place of using your magic. It's been a little bit restrictive there. That's what Saturn does. Saturn is a tough master. Saturn is a little bit like the, the father figure in the Umbrella Academy. I don't know if anybody's watched it, but he is, he is to his adopted children what Saturn has been to you. Very tough very tough but also pushing them to master their power instead of just letting it run riot because Pisces your manifestations as a fluid water sign can get out of control if they're not tempered and you've had to learn that the hard way yeah you have but I think you've mastered it here 
the emperor in the Ten of Wands, you've put in a lot of work, you've developed a lot of patience, you've developed a lot of understanding, a lot of clarity. And Mars being in your money sector has made you assess what matters to you, how you value yourself, how you value your relationships even. And now that it's coming into alignment with your career sector, this is so much what you've been waiting for. The career success, the career opportunities, the clarity of purpose. And it has been a struggle for many of you to trust overall on the path that you're on. If you're dealing with uh, an air sign, maybe that was the painful relationship that has had to realign you. Or maybe this is someone that you've had to learn to overcome toxic habits with. If it's with an earth sign, it looks like there's been a lot of work put into this, especially if it's a long-term relationship. And especially if it's a Capricorn, you're going to reap blessings with this person. And if you're dealing with an Aries, you could build something really amazing together. It's really quite blessed, Pisces. The combination of Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups is just gorgeous. Let's clarify with the Goddess Guidance card. Cool. We have Inner Wisdom. And we have Home. So maybe some of you after that Gemini partial eclipse are moving home. Maybe some of you are having children with that Six of Cups. Maybe some of you are changing relationship status. Maybe some of you are working from home, whatever this is. Maybe some of you are redecorating. Oh, interesting, the man holding a coin. For a lot of you, this is for sure a new career, a new job offer and more money, just more money. The thinking woman. And for some of you, you are in a relationship or going into a relationship that's going to expand your mind, it's going to expand the way you think, it's going to expand the way you communicate especially and it's going to put you more in touch with your your rational side interestingly and you know that's something for every Pisces that a relationship should do because when you have Virgo as your descendant as your opposite sign and there's Virgo smack bang in the middle knight of cups knight of pentacles uh when you have Virgo as your seventh house you need a relationship with someone who has good habits because you will in your relationships, Pisces, always take on the habits and the emotional tendencies of the person you're with. And so if you are in a relationship with someone who's good with money, someone who is practical, someone who is committed, somebody who is healthy, you will really, really thrive. And if you're not with anybody Make sure that at the top of your manifestation or your visualization for a relationship, you're visualizing somebody who's healthy, emotionally healthy. Because that's what you deserve. Jupiter never leaves a sign without delivering a gift. And so if you have felt in 2020 that you weren't sure what that is, here it is. We'll get more into it in the extended Pisces. I love you guys very much. Have a blessed December and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.